Hi everyone, welcome back to The Young Grower. So today is Sunday the 30th of May, it is Bank Holiday Sunday and it is absolutely boiling today, what is brilliant. But at the same time, I'm regretting choosing to do the job I'm about to do today. So we're gonna plant out all our squash plants down here on the no dig kitchen garden. So we're gonna be planting some on our new arch as well as the old arch and into the beds, yeah. I've started to plant some already just because it's gonna to be too hot to record every single plant in. So what I've done is planted a few of them and we're gonna go along and plant a couple more, just show you how we're gonna do it. And then we'll have a walk through the plot. I will show you all the other varieties I've planted and what ones we're growing this year. So let's do this. So we've got lots of summer squash. There's a mixture of summer squash, winter squash. So the plants were starting to get a little stressed with this heat and I've been so busy over the last week, so yeah. We're going to get these planted and the ones I don't plant, I'm going to repot because they will be going on a bit of a borrowed plot we're borrowing just over there. Yeah, so we have to finish preparing that bit of ground, but once we've prepared them, we'll do it. So I will repot them. Well, we got lots of different varieties. So we did a video when we sown all these. So if you're interested to know a bit more about them and how I sown them, head over and watch the video. I'll put the link for it just up here. If you click that eye, yeah, you'll be able to watch it. And just over here, I have planted a Sibley squash. Grew this variety last year with amazing results. It trailed off the raised bed into the path. So we're gonna try that one again this year. And then just over there, I've planted a Queensland blue squash. It's a new variety for me this year and I'm hoping it will go that way and spread out that bed. The beans are gonna be in this bed. So if it trails in between, that's fine. But the plan is, for it to go on to the main path. And then just over here on this arch, I have started to plant some more butternut squash. So we're gonna have four plants going up here and we'll train them all the way up and going around. So I still have one of them to plant. So I thought we could do that together and just show you how I'm gonna be planting these on the archway. Because these plants are gonna be growing vertically up the arch, we can plant them a lot closer together. So I'm planting four plants and I'm putting around 15 centimeters between each plant. And all I'm gonna do is just make a hole with my hand. Push it in, firm it around. And there we go. I already added lots of manure to this bed as well as blood fish and bone in winter before we added the layer of compost that we did. And we'll give them a good watering after. But yeah, that is the button that squash planted on there. For myself, when it comes to planting out, I don't have a plan where I'm planting anything. I just like to do it where I feel best at the time. So that's why I always grow extra plants. But even though there's extra plants, we have a big space over on the plot that I'm borrowing to plant. So everything's gonna be getting planted there and also my plot neighbour wants some of these. So once I've planted some out, I will put them aside for her. But yeah, let's see what other ones I've got to plant and try and make my mind up. Here we have the Volgas Grey. This variety is new for me this year. These are mainly going to be planted over on the borrowed plot, but I thought we would try and find somewhere to plant one in one of the raised beds just to see how they do in a small space. Look at the roots on that, absolutely amazing. So yeah, let's go and find somewhere to plant this one. So in this bed here is where I'm going to be planting my sweet corn. I need to remove the rest of the leeks so they can go in there. I planted the Sibley to trail down here to go down this way. And I may actually plant this one just there and it can trail onto that path because this is my plot neighbor's path and we do not mind if we have plants go over it. Yeah, but I think that will look nice here. At least that way it can trail along the side and possibly up here. Just make a hole. But I can't wait to follow these throughout the year and just see how they get on and what they produce because I've got so many new varieties to try this year. So over here we have some Boston winter squash plants. The seeds for these pots were my own saved seeds and just look at the size of them. They're amazing. And then over here, these ones are from seeds I had last year. So they are the original seeds. So look at the size difference, how good they are. 
yeah absolutely amazing so now let's try and find somewhere to plant this one on this plot so this is one of my own saved seeds i want to see what we get and i definitely want one of these on here so i'm going to plant this one just over there and then that way it can grow in between these beds so i'm going to plant it down here near the bean posts Nice big hole with my hand. And pop it in. So on the archway, I've planted two butternut squash on this section. I've not planted anything on that bit, and then I've planted another one at the end here. And then in between, we're going to plant some of the curry squash and some of the doody squash from the Heritage Seed Library. I planted another butternut squash there to trail down this path. And on this side, there's another butternut squash just there. And then there's another one just here. And then we're gonna plant some of the doody squash and the curry squash on this side as well. And they will all go up the arch, yeah and saving a lot of space. So we'll get those ones planted out later in the season, give them a little bit longer just to get fully established so the slugs don't completely destroy them. So that is all the main winter squashes planted on this plot. I don't wanna to do too many. I'm gonna do lots of summer squash on here. And these ones are gonna go over onto the borrowed plot. I'm gonna repot them in a moment, just to give them a couple more weeks before we plant them out, yeah. So now we're gonna move on to planting the summer squash we have a few different varieties. So we have the custard white patty pan. And down here we have the eight ball courgette. And then just over here we have the Patterson blank patty pan. And then this one here is the English custard. And that is the one from Baker Creek Seeds in America that I grew last year. So we'll find some spaces to plant some of these on here then the extra ones will be going over on the other plot and i'll plant some at the top and my plot neighbor definitely wants some of these so i don't know if you remember from when we sown them that i said that i was going courgette mad this year because we didn't have any last year and the chickens were not too happy so i'm having a bit of an easier year growing this year and i'm doing a lot more for the chickens and a lot more plants i can just plant and leave so the courgettes is that plan I decided to come and have a break out of the sun or trying to get out of the sun so repot in all the squash plants that we're not planting today so I've done the Boston winter squash and I've also done the Queensland blue I just have these ones left to do and they're the Volga's grey yeah so I thought I'll just show you how I'm doing one of them just in case you're wondering what's involved in potting up a squash plant if it's not ready to go in the ground yet and all we're going to do is i took it out of the tray i actually removed some of the lower leaves that were dying and then we're just going to get some compost and then fill it around the plant keeping the plant center in the pot Firming it down around the plant as we fill it up, get as much compost in there as possible, providing more nutrients for longer. And there we go. And that is what is involved in planting up a squash. Now I'm going to do the rest, yeah, then have a break and then we'll get the summer squash planted. So we planted a mixture of the winter squash and the summer squash on this plot from the patty pans to the Queensland blue. We've got the eight ball courgette. We've done the butternut squash on the arch. We've done butternut squash on this arch. We still have the doody squash to plant on the arch and the curry squash that I'm gonna give them a little bit longer before they go out. And over here on all the winter squash, I've put a handful of the natural grower slow release fertilizer in the top of each pot just to give them a bit of a feed and i also went and put a layer around each of the plants that we planted today 
just to mulch them in and just to give them a bit of extra feed as they put down new roots. So we will follow these squash through the coming months, see how they get on and we'll also do a video when we plant out the other ones. Yeah, it's an absolute boiling day today, I think it's 21 degrees. But at least that is them all planted, they're not going to get any more stressed and the ones that were getting stressed that I haven't planted, we've repotted them and they'll be fine for another couple of weeks until we are ready to plant over on the other bit. I will just go over and we will show you the other section just so you know where I'm going to be planting them. Yeah, so let's go over there. Also planted some of the patty pans here and I planted one just at the end there. But the plot I am going to be using. So this here is Rahanna's plot, my plot neighbour. was well, absolutely amazing as goes right down to the bottom. It's absolutely huge. So let's cut across hers and go to the section that I'm going to be using this year and that is over here and you might remember we did the leeks so we had all the leeks going up here and there's a few more but we've done quite a lot of the digging and weeding I had the hose pipe on it today just to give it a good drink before we actually rotivate it because we're going to rotivate this section this plot normally gets rotivated and it's been a while since it's been done so yeah we're going to do it to break it up we got some manure there in the bags. We also have some lots more manure at the back of my plot that we're gonna to add to it. So Keelan's gonna come and do it. Oh, it's very windy, but it's a very nice breeze today. So hopefully the microphone's doing its job. But yeah, as you can see, this is where we are gonna be planting all of our extra pumpkin squash. I've done some spinach to go here as well. I've also done some chard and some other bits. I'm just going to make most of this plot and try and make it full with lots of produce even if it's just for the chickens. There's another section here that can be used, what my plot neighbour Rohan is going to use. Lots of wood chips over there because we're going to put weed fabric down and do main paths each side and then there's the sections to plant in. This carpet is going to go, like I said, and we're going to put weed fabric down. Wood chips, yeah, well I can't wait to actually get things planted here. We was going to do the giant pumpkins and that here this year, but I decided to not do them this year, just with, there's not really any shows. And I'm doing the giant sunflowers, some other things, and I thought I'd rather just grow food to eat, food for the chickens, have some fun. Yeah. So I don't want to take much more of your time. I think I have finished showing you everything I needed to. I would like to welcome all the new subscribers to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button as well as like and leave a comment. This year's gone so fast, I can't believe we're at the end of May already. So much needs to go out and be planted. We're having that horrible weather for the last couple of weeks. It's just made so much planting out now. So I waited a little bit longer until the nice weather come and now it's boiling hot and everything needs to go out because it's getting too hot in the greenhouse. So on that note, I'm gonna leave it here and we will see each other soon. YouTube have recommended a video for you to watch and if you are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, if you click my logo it will allow you to subscribe.